Philip, a, uh, a report this morning made your toe injury sound pretty significant. Um, how, how bad is your toe and uh, how difficult is it to play? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I, rather than getting into the details of everything, I mean, shoot, I'm, uh, you know, just working each week, uh, finding a way to be out there and, um, you know, able to, able to still, I, I don't feel any limitations as far as, uh, what I can do out there. It's just a matter of managing it week to week at this point. All right. Mike Chapel. Philip, in the last minute and a half or so, how much are you balancing preparing for the next perhaps possession and watching the defense? And what was your reaction when that ball's on the ground? Yeah, well, obviously, you always belief in the defense that they're going to get a stop. But certainly offensively, um, we were talking about finding a way to go kick the game-winning field goal. Let's get ourselves in position. You know, Frank was calling the timeouts there. Uh, we're going to have a minute left, depending on what happened, and, um, and to go get, a, get get three points. So that's where our mindset was. Obviously, all, all at the same time, I'm pulling for our D. And, you know, that ball got on the ground. Obviously, you, you find a way to get on it. Our defense did. So. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes, you know. And shoot, I've been on the other end of some of those kind of, you know, crazy endings. And uh, it was, you know, collectively a good team win. Obviously, had different times in the game where we could have put it away and didn't. Uh, but we found a way. Uh, and shoot, never apologize for those. Find a way to win a, a tough uh, division road game. Zach Kiefer. Bill, you talked earlier in the season about finding different ways to win and, and how that will help you guys down the line. What did today teach you about this team that maybe you didn't know before the game? Well, I, you know, I just thought we had a, a great week as a whole. You know, we came off a tough game, obviously. A lot of hype built around last week's game, a chance to take the division lead, uh, you know, and we didn't get it done. And we truly came in, you know, had the Monday and Tuesday mandatory, you know, couldn't come in the building, but started our weekly prep. And we truly began a new week. And the guys were awesome. The energy and practice all week was great. The mindset was great. I thought the swagger was still there. To believe that we we were the same guys that, that, that took the field three hours before that Tennessee game. And I thought that's the way we came out today. Um, you know, offensively, we were rolling pretty good in that first half. Um, you know, obviously, the defense came up with a big turnover, a big safety. Obviously, the big turnover at the end to win the game. So, you know, special teams had some huge plays. A couple of them get called back. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I – I think we found out we can win anyway. I mean, we can win anyway. We, we, we found plenty of ways to win. We're going to hang in there and stick together no matter what. Mike Wells. Hey, Phillips, I guess I should probably yell so you can hear me since you're on the bus. But uh, I want to ask you two things. A, did you know about T.Y. Hilton's history in Houston? And how big was it for him to have this type of game going forward in this stretch run of the season for you guys? Yeah, I feel like we've said it all year long. You know, it's just a matter of time till he really gets rolling. And, and I felt like he's he's had he, – he, I felt like he's been a, a big part of this thing the whole way through. I know it's not the it's same not statistics that we're used to seeing him have. All right, yeah. He's having, but um, uh, he had a huge day. And I kind of thought it was about to be a 200-yard day the way that first half was. It just panned out it wasn't that way. But uh, heck of a day he had. Olivia Ray. I was going to ask about T.Y. too, but I guess I want to know, are you calling him the mayor of Houston now? And, and what was clicking, not just today, but the last two weeks with you two? I, I certainly was not a part of but heard about his, uh, you know, the type of performances he's had here at this stadium. And uh, he got off early, you know, he caught the first pass of the game and he catch the touchdown in that first drive and then uh, just, just kept it rolling. You know, obviously we'd love to get a few more balls to him. Uh, in that second half, we weren't as good at executing in that second half. Although we did get the run game going, which was which was big, uh, but certainly not scoring any points offensively isn't uh, up to our standard in the second half. So, um, all in all, we found a way to win, but we certainly don't walk away feeling like we played perfect. And um, you know, regroup and, and head out uh, to uh, Vegas for a uh, you know uh, play the Raiders here next week. All right, we'll go a few more. Akeem Glasby. Yes, uh, Philip. Uh, I got another one about Ty. Uh, why is it? Why was it so important today to get him uh, involved early uh, in the game? And and when he's involved early, how much does that kind of open up the rest of the offense? 
Yeah, well, I mean, I think we usually try to do that. Uh, you know, there's uh, been games early in the year. I feel like, you know, Jackson, Jacksonville, we were trying to get in the first touch of the game, even going back to the Jets and Cincinnati and, and Minnesota. And so uh, we love to get it going early. Sometimes it just hasn't, hasn't come up the way we, we had hoped. Uh, but he's certainly, as, we, as we've as we said, he's been a factor. Even when he's not getting the ball, you know, and there's times when they're rolling the coverage his way. But um, the fact that he didn't get going early, he made some unbelievable catches today. You know, the, obviously the – the catch to start the game was a, was a heck of a catch. Um, he had a little five yard under route that he ran. That was a huge catch. Uh, I believe it was to start the second half. Uh, and then the third down catch, uh, his ability to get his feet down on that third down, which was huge. I mean, you look back at those plays, you, you don't realize how big they are until you look back at the whole game and see how huge that was. So um, it was a heck of a day by him. It was, it was, it was good to get him going, get him back in the end zone again. And, we know this thing's it's a, it's a week to week deal and it's a 17 week grind and you hope you get some bonus weeks. So we're in the midst of it. Uh, and, and we're going to continue to, I know it's boring for you guys, but we're going to continue to just keep it one game at a time. All right. We'll go one more Jim Aiello. Yeah, Philip, I know a, a win feels good, but did it feel better when you, when you came off the field and saw what happened uh, in Tennessee today, knowing that you guys are positioned to, to kind of come back in the South? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're right there in the hunt. I mean, there's four games to play. We're tied up record-wise. Obviously, they hold the tiebreaker based on the division uh, record at this point. But, um, you know, there's a lot of crazy things that happened in this league over the years. I mean, I was a part of a team that was 4-8 and eight one time. The Denver Broncos were 8-4. and four. And uh, we won out, and they lost out. We played them in Week 17 to, to win the division. And uh, so it, this league's crazy. And so it, it is fun, and as a fan, and, and loving the, the game, I, I, to say that I don't know what's going on out there would be a lie, but we truly can't worry about that. We can't worry about what the Titans do. We can't worry about what anybody else does. We got to just shoot, learn from this game, be excited about this win. Any, any division road win is, is big. And then we, we, we put all our attention on the Oakland Raider, on the Vegas Raiders, sorry, and, uh, and, and find a way to go, go one to know this week and, and not get caught up in what could happen over the next four weeks because, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? We just got to control what we control. 